and the strapping you see underneath there, those are the anchors. A lot of times those will be rusted out. They are galvanized, but a lot of times some people will be vindictive as they if they get evicted and they'll actually cut those. And you may want to make sure that those are all there. I actually have seen some of the uh, <laughs> the piers there. There's just those blocks. The trailer will start to shift a little bit on one side. And the, you won't have any support on the on the piers to the mobile home itself. So you know there's a little bit of a soil issue there. So you may need to have a reload. <coughs> And again, you can see the framework there. It's just like a giant fishbone skeleton underneath there. They actually put the subfloor on top of that, and then you start working on the on the carpeting. And then underneath that goes the, the insulation. And then, and then they put that uh, plastic underneath there to seal everything up. So it's, it's, everything is raised up off the, the ground, obviously. And the ducking just kind of hangs off the bottom. They're, they're supposed to hang off the bottom of the trailer, but a lot of times you'll see them just laying on the bottom of the ground laying on the ground that's where the rodents get in there and start chewing on it and they have their nice little air conditioner or heated house depending on what like time of the year it is. how far do those anchors have to go into the ground do you usually, know usually uh, 36 to 48 inches yeah, depending, upon, depending upon the soil and it's pretty interesting how they actually put those in they got this giant ratcheting air wrench and just they just anchor them right in they just auger in call hey, them Mike, yes. what about the i noticed this one is a lot higher up than a lot of them that i see is there any rule or well, they're trying to build a basement on this particular <laughs> unit. How high it off the ground is how high, how wealthy you are. I'm kidding. No, it's, it's basically just to give you some crawl space there. And a lot of times you'll see one end be real close to the ground, and then the ground will slope down. I've seen four or five feet on the other, other ends. And that's where you want to get the skirting in there. You know, they're going to spend a lot of money for skirting. Look next door, you'll see an air conditioning unit condenser, but then look at the window unit. So you can tell there's obviously something wrong with their HVAC system. So if you're going to buy this one, that's a red flag okay, right off the bat. Do you know what HVAC is? What it stands for? No, house vacated and condemned. <laughs> Here, here's that again. So a red flag if you were going to buy this one next door is you see a condenser outside, but you see a window unit. So right off the bat, you know there's something wrong with the heating and cooling system of the house. I don't see any duct tape on that. Something's wrong. Yeah, something something's wrong. <laughs> so I like how they leveled that. <laughs> You'll see all kinds of rigged things in mobile homes. And these are the steps that turn right here. Tell them these are the steps that you don't want them to be. Yeah. Yeah, on those, on those steps, sure there's, 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 there's where you want to have the handrails coming out of there. If you're renting those things, that's a huge liability. Funny story, we're driving through a, uh, another neighborhood, and a guy comes running out. It's all a bus driver. He goes, you're here to do my home. You're here to do my home. I knew you were going to come here and do my home for the Extreme Home Makeovers. That was extremely disappointing. We said, no, we're not here to do your home. We just got on there and said, sorry. We're just moving the bus. The guy down the street got it. He's like, oh man. There's that storage shed. I like that idea, John. Thank you. Hundred dollars a month and we'll put it in there. Hundred bucks a month. 99.99. You got a Jeep out there that's worth more than the home. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> and a motorcycle. And a motorcycle. There's a motorcycle worth more than the yeah, home. Most definitely a dragger. Here's some of my competition. Double wide. Now, Eb, have you already tried to contact him to see if he's uh, wanting to get out of the business, no, or no, is he? He's an older gentleman who's retired. He's so, got about ten in the park too. And okay, so we sort of got away from the park just because I didn't want to have all my eggs in one basket. I like having a little bit ten of here, ten there, ten here. So 